Hey, it's Jonathan with North Georgia Airless. I'm gonna do a quick little video that just covers basic trailer plumbing. It's all gonna be the same, whether it's a hot water washer or a cold water washer. This is how we do it. This is not necessarily the only way to do it. This is not necessarily what others may or may not agree with. But what we generally do when we have a tank with a two inch bulkhead, we come off with a two inch T. Uh, one outlet coming to the front of the trailer is going to the machine, the other is serving as a drain. If we do multiple machines, we'll usually put another bulkhead in the leg over here. Soft wash stuff generally pulls out of the top. So in this case, we have just a machine only, so this is going to be very basic. Water coming out of the tank comes up here to a clear bowl filter. We like the clear bowl filter because it does occasionally remind somebody that there is a filter in there. The debris is going to build up on the inside of this particular filter. Not the end of the world, but do keep that in mind when you're looking at it. Just because the outside look, looks clean, it may not be clean on the inside. You come on around, this goes around and feeds straight into the pump. We use one inch plumbing. In this case, it's got Spiroflex or Tigerflex hose. Not something you necessarily have to do, not something we always do. It depends on the circumstances, but in this case, that's what we have used here. One inch, single fed. This is a debated issue in the, in the pressure washing industry, but after several discussions with pump manufacturers, we have taken the stance not to recommend dual feeding pumps. They say that that can actually take cavitation to the center portion of the pump since it's not designed to typically pull from both sides. Once again, choice you can make. This is just how we do them. So in this case, uh, and every, the case of every machine that we typically plumb with a tank, uh, we're also going to have a bypass line. This line here coming off the unloader goes down around back to the tank. Um, everything we do as far as the incoming water for the tank is always gonna be on the opposite side of the outlet. That way any air disturbance, anything that's causing turbulence inside the tank is not happening where we're trying to pull the good clean water for our pump. Uh, once again, that comes back to cavitation. Cavitation causes heat, all kinds of other problems within a pump. This particular trailer, we have plumbed it with an inlet hose reel. Uh, we, we do have that reel hooked up through that green hose. It just comes right around to here to this bulkhead on the top. Nothing as far as filters on the inlet because we're gonna filter it coming out. You know, hopefully in most cases, you're not pumping mud out of somebody's house. Always check garden hoses if you're using a customer's garden hose. Always turn the spigot on before you hook up anyway. Make sure the spigot's working and not full of trash. But we come back around here and over on the other side of the machine, we have our pressure line coming out to the reel. So it's coming off the burner right here. Um, the other hose dropping down towards the trailer is a rupture disc. Uh, oftentimes we get calls, hey, my machine's pouring water. It's a rupture disc. If a rupture disc blows, there's something wrong, but that's another conversation, another video. This hose comes right around here, right back to our reel. We quick connect at the machine and quick connect at the reel typically. The reason we do this is because you can put the injector at the reel, at the machine, wherever is most convenient for your chemical tank. On all of our reels, when we plumb the hoses coming off, we use stainless steel 45s. That way we can eliminate as much of that hose lump as possible. Can't see it real good in that picture or in the video, but we do that on our inlet and our outlet hoses just to try to make things as streamlined as possible. That is a basic plumbing job on a basic trailer. Uh, works hot or cold water. Either way, this is just a simple layout, not what you have to do. But we get a lot of questions asking us how to do this. So we wanted to make this little video just to show it. Again, Jonathan with North Georgia Airless. Thank you.